everyone, it's Simply Duck Designs here, and today I'm back with another craft update. It's been a while since I last did one of these, but I didn't think I had enough crafts to show. So I've been kind of collecting things because I like to make really big craft updates for you guys. So some of these things I don't remember if I've shown you guys. Some of these things I have, but some of these things I haven't. So I'm just going to get started. So now I'm going to get started with smallets. Like I said, I don't really remember if I've shown you guys these or not, but I figured I'd just show them in a craft update anyway because the odds are some of you haven't seen them even if I did show them. So first I have this Hello Kitty Sunshine wallet all lined up with the glitter tape and the ocean blue. There are three card pockets. One is a short pocket, there's a hidden pocket, and an ID right here and then a ocean blue billfold. Then I have this smallet, which was a collab with Tori's Tape Treasures on Instagram and YouTube. It's nerds on the outside. It's not really lined up because I'm not sure it does line up. If it does, it's really hard. So I just tried to get it as best as I could. On the inside, it is lime green and pink. Same layout, except for there's just no hidden here. And ID over here. And a half and half billfold. I only have one accordion wallet to show you guys, and it is a nerd's wallet as well. This one was kind of a fail. I tried to fix it as best as I could, but it still doesn't look too wonderful. So it's the nerd's tape again. The only thing here is the expandable does show right here over the flap, which I don't really like, but it was worse before I had to fix it. But I think it's okay considering it was pretty bad at first and I had to go back in and fix it. So no fold over lines on the outside. In the inside it's lime green, large expandables, and a Ziploc coin pouch. And the seam on the inside is clear taped. As you can see there's like my fingerprint there. That's another thing I don't really like about this wallet, but they can't all be good. Now I'm going to show you guys the portfolios I made. I haven't made these in a while, but I've been kind of on a portfolio kick. This was my personal wallet for a while, but I stopped using it because I'll show you guys the other portfolio I made that I just completely fell in love with. So I used this one for about a week. It is the Cosmic Tie-Dye one, and you guys saw this a couple times before, I believe. So it's all clear taped on the outside, well the seams are at least, and no fold over lines as always, white velcro. On the inside there is the checkbook holder, seams are clear taped, and it's paired with the new pastel, like, I guess it's like an orange, but it's like a peachy color. There is the billfold here. There are four card pockets with the star prism trimmed in the peach color. There is a Ziploc coin pouch, all the seams are clear taped as well. And then over here is the little spot to put your mini composition book. Um, like I said, I really like this wallet, and it's still going to be put back for my personal wallet, but I just moved on to this one, because after I made it, I just completely fell in love with it. And that is this Spider-Man wallet. I love this so incredibly much. I think this turned out absolutely amazing. This is actually scrapbook paper. I had never used scrapbook paper before for a wallet. It's all clear taped on the outside. I got this scrapbook paper at Michael's, and they're only a couple cents, so if you guys want to go get this one, it is at Michael's, like I said. And this is just, I, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe how I feel about this wallet. I'm absolutely in love with it. It is this 60s Spider-Man comic book piece of paper. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's really awesome. I've been obsessed with superheroes lately and I just had to do this. I had originally gotten this for my journal, this piece of paper, but I just kind of wanted to try it out because like I said, I've just been obsessed with superheroes lately. I just have been watching superhero movies and videos and all kinds of stuff. So I just really wanted to make something Spider-Man themed because Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes along with Batman. So now, enough with my babbling, I'm just going to tell you guys what the wallet is. So when you open it up, you can see this part, and it's red right here. So when you open it up, there's a black and red checkbook holder. All the seams are clear taped. I'm not the best clear taper. I was kind of hesitant to do black because I do like when all the seams are clear taped because it really helps the wallet stay stronger and last longer but I'm just really bad with clear taping and I was kind of hesitant to do that. There are a few air bubbles, but I think I did an all right job. So over here, the checkbook flips over and there is the billfold down here. 
and there are the card pockets over here. They're trimmed in red and blue. And I used some more of the paper to make the card pockets. Then there is the Ziploc coin pouch, which is red and blue. And then there's the part over here for your mini composition book. I just love this wallet. I don't even think it really looks like a duct tape wallet on the outside because it is scrapbook paper, but I honestly think from the outside it looks like you could buy it in a store and I love that. I just think it looks awesome and all the trim over here is clear taped. So you're probably going to see a lot more scrapbook paper wallets on this channel because I just love them. So the next thing I have is this cell phone wallet, but I made it from my iPod. I made a little strap, but I don't know where it is right now. But it has a little D-ring here, and it is the Scotch Zebra packaging tape. So I just put this over white, and then I clear taped all the sides because sometimes the packaging tape can rip. So I made sure those were clear taped. So on the inside, it just looks like this. There are four credit card pockets, and they are trimmed in black and white. There is the expandable pouch here for your phone or your iPod, and then there is the billfold over here, and I also put an ID right here. If you guys want a tutorial on this, my friend Duct Tape Susie has one. I'll try my best to link it in the description. And then to go along with that, I made this little business card holder. So this is what it looks like. I love the way packaging tape feels. I have some business cards in here already, but this is what it looks like. It has a black trim. Then after that, I have my L wallet that I made. I haven't made these in a while, and I just recently wanted to try to get back into them, and I kind of forgot like how to make them because it's been so long. So this isn't actually perfect, but I don't know, I kind of like it. It is the Olaf tape, and it's all clear taped. The seams are all clear taped, except for this one at the top because I ran out of clear tape at the time. So I have more clear tape now, and I've got to do that. But all lined up. All lined up here as well. So over here there are two credit card pockets in gray and then there is a hidden pocket here. There's the flip up billfold which has four credit card holders here and I kind of messed up. The card actually shows over the billfold. That's where I messed up because I just forgot the measurements and I forgot that the credit card pockets need to be a completely different size than from a regular bifold because this bifold is very short. But that's just something that I need to remember for next time because I was a little rusty when making these. And then there is a billfold here and a hidden pocket here. And a lot of people commented on the video where I first showed these off and suggesting coin pouches and IDs and everything. The reason I didn't add those to the wallets I showed you in that video and this one is because, like I said, I was a little rusty when making this one. So I didn't want to waste ID plastic and I didn't want to waste Ziploc on something that I wasn't really sure would turn out. And this one really didn't turn out the way I wanted it, so I didn't end up wasting those things. Now I'm going to move on to a failed slick wallet. It just didn't turn out very well. I tried to do it for a tutorial and I get really, I get a lot of anxiety when filming tutorials because I want everything to be perfect and I can get really, really stressed out. So this tutorial just went completely wrong. My camera was dying, lighting was coming in and out. I was messing up on this wallet several times. So I was just really stressed out when doing this. So it kind of suffered from that. But it is this cookie dough wallet and the seams aren't clear taped because it was just so bad that I just didn't really want to do anything with it. But on the inside it is paired with the bubblegum pink and there are just four slick pockets and two hiddens and a pink billfold. So this one just didn't turn out very well and neither did that tutorial. And then I'll just quickly show you this bifold wallet or this slick wallet that I made. Um, this was in a Wallet Wednesday, so I'm just going to go over it real quickly. It's just all lace with the frosted plastic and the all lace billfold. After that, I actually made a clutch. This was made a while ago, like a good while ago. I probably made this like early last month and I just never showed it. It is with the platypus tape and the new pastel orange. And I really like the way this looks. I think it's a really cute color combo and I think it'll be really nice for the summer. So I didn't put any Velcro here yet, so it's just tape, but it just looks like this, a large billfold or pouch, I guess, for the clutch. 
and it's super simple but I really like it if you guys want a tutorial on this I can definitely make that for you because this is so simple it won't stress me out at all and the last craft I have to show you guys, I don't know if you guys have been reading my blog, but I put up a post about journaling and how it can impact your life in a positive way. And I made this for my journal, it's just a journal cover. Journaling has been so much fun, I've been doing it for like the past 2-3 months now and I've been really enjoying it. But I just made this lace cover to put over my journal so I can carry it with me but I won't have to worry about anything happening to it. And it's paired with the peach. I love this color combo so much. But this is what it looks like. My notebook just slides into these pouches over here. And it will just close like this and have the flap over it. So super simple, but I really like it and it's been really helpful for me. So everyone, that was my craft update. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below what your favorite craft was that I made this time. And if we could get this video to 80 likes, I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching as always. Don't forget to check out all my links down in the description below for all my social media accounts. That will lead you to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, everything's down there. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye everyone! I'm going to move on with this week's wallet. So this wallet is actually for my dad. I already gave it to him, but this is a Spock wallet from Star Trek. Um, recently the actor who played Spock, Leonard Nimoy, passed away.